In this video, we're going to sketch a VT graph based on a DT graph. We're going to do these one at a time, and this video is intended to be interactive. So as we go through this, I want you to pause, and in your notebook, sketch what you think the answer is supposed to be, and then play and find out if you're correct. So in this first um, uh, DT graph, we see a straight line, and what I'd like you to do is uh, sketch the VT axes, uh, pause, and sketch the VT graph. Okay, so now that you're back, let's do this together. So what, do we, what features are we looking for? For a DT graph, we're looking for a couple of things. We want to find, find out is the speed changing or not. Is it a constant speed? If it's a constant speed, that would make it a flat line. If it's a changing speed, we would recognize a changing speed as a curve, um, and then we're going to be looking at the slope. So in this case, we see that our distance is changing uniformly uh, with respect to time. It's in the positive direction, so we have a positive constant velocity. So it would look something like that. How do I know that that's a constant velocity? Because this change right here, the slope of a DT graph gives us velocity the slope is the same from point to point to point to point. How about this right here? Well, here we also see that it's a constant speed. You should pause the video now and sketch it. So we see that uh, this is a constant speed, but the slope is negative, and the negative slope tells us the direction of the velocity. So it's a constant speed in the negative direction. So this is a horizontal line right here in a negative direction. So perhaps it's minus two meters per second. As opposed to the previous one, this could have been plus two meters per second. Positive slope, negative slope. Remember the sign of the slope indicates the direction of the speed. Velocity is speed and direction. Okay, so now we're in the fourth quadrant, and what's happening to the speed here? Well, the slope of the line, what happens to the slope of the line? It's constant, but it's a negative slope. Um, so that means that our speed is going to be in the negative region, and it's going to be constant, like that. So that's uh, very similar to the previous example. As a matter of fact, the red line has the exact same shape as in the previous example right here as you can see. So that would be the same um, uh, velocity. The difference is is where you're located. See a DT graph tells you where you're located. A VT graph mentions nothing about location. So in this case right here we have a positive slope. We have a constant speed. So that would be our VT graph. Now as a reminder, don't just simply copy these down. What I want you to do is work with me, pause, predict, and then check your answers. So here we have a curve. What does a curve mean? Do you remember? Curve means that the speed is changing. So we have Let's say, take these dots, we draw that tangent line, tangent, tangent. What happens to the slope of those tangent lines? From one second to two seconds to three seconds, we see, see the slope is increasing. That tells us that the speed is increasing. Is that a positive slope or a negative slope? It's a positive slope. So the positive slope means that it's changing speed in the positive direction. It's changing speed in the positive direction. Speed is increasing. Increasing one, two, three. One, two, three. That's what's happening to the speed. Speed is increasing. Right here, do the same thing. Draw our little dots. It's so all pause and you draw it. So, what's happening to the slope? The slope seems to be decreasing but we, are, we have a positive slope, 
So positive slope means positive velocity. Slope is decreasing, so that means the speed is decreasing. Like that. Is that right? We are 3, 2, 1. Yes, that's right. Speed is decreasing, and we are in the positive region. These are That's positive 3, positive 2, positive 1. Speed is decreasing in the positive direction. It's happening here. Put our dots, draw our tangent lines. That helps us decide what's going on. So what's happening to our speed? We're going three, two, one. Speed is decreasing. Speed. Now what about the velocity? Well, since this is a negative slope, um, that means that we're decreasing speed in the negative direction. So we're going to be in uh, below the x-axis. We're decreasing speed. Negative one, negative two, negative three. Decreasing speed in a negative direction. So we're going to go three, two, one. So that'll be our line right there. We're decreasing our speed. Now, don't let this throw you off. Remember, these negatives refer to direction. So this is probably one of the harder ones to comprehend. How about this one? Let's start off by considering the uh, if it's a positive slope or a negative slope. So those are negative slopes. Since they're negative slopes, we know the line is going to be down here in the fourth quadrant. It's going to be a negative velocity. So let's prep ourselves. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. What's happening to the speed? Notice I said speed. I didn't say velocity this time. What's happening to the speed? The speed, which would be the slope, uh, is changing from a low number to a high number, which means it's speeding up. The object is speeding up. So the speed is increasing, but it's speeding up in the negative direction. So we have that. That shows the speed is increasing. One, two, three. It's increasing in the negative direction. Negative one, negative two, negative three. Okay, all of these in the fourth quadrant. So this is kind of repeat what we did in the first quadrant. So things are going to get flipped around. So notice that this is a negative slope. Negative slope goes in the fourth quadrant. What's happening to the magnitude of the slope, the number? Well, it looks like our, we start off really steep and we become less steep. So high slope to low slope. So we must be slowing down. But we're slowing down in a negative direction. So that's slowing down in a negative direction like that. We go from negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. So we're slowing down. What's happening here? Well, we, again, we have a negative slope. Negative slope puts us in the fourth quadrant. Now, are we speeding up? Are we slowing down? Here we are speeding up. So since we're speeding up, the speed gets larger in the negative direction. So it's like that. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. What's happening here? Again, draw our dots. Okay, positive or negative slope? Positive slope. Positive slope puts this in the first quadrant. What's happening to the slope? Getting larger or getting smaller? Large slope, small slope. It's decreasing. So it's slowing down. So it would look like that. Slowing down. Going from 3 to 1. Slowing down. Okay, what's happening to the slope here? Is it a positive slope or a negative slope? Positive slope again. What's happening to the magnitude, the number of it? So it looks like the, it's getting steeper, so magnitude is increasing, so that means that the speed is increasing. That would be the VT graph. Almost done. Okay, so these are fancy. Okay, so this is really a combination of um, previous graphs. Basically, you can see 
one graph on the left of the parabola and one graph on the right of the parabola. The previous graphs were all half parabolas. But we can look at this as a whole. What's happening? Well, I start off, what, what's happening to the slope? It looks like I'm slowing down. Now I'm slowing down in the uh, what direction? Um, slowing down in the positive slope up here. So I'm slowing down. So 3, 2, 1, I'm slowing down. Now what's the slope at the very top? It's horizontal. So that means when I hit the horizontal, I'm right there. Okay. Now what happens when I go beyond the, the apex of that parabola? You see that it gets steeper, but that's a negative slope. So right here, that side is negative slope. And right here, that's a positive slope on the left side of the parabola. So the positive slopes would be positive velocities, negative slopes would be negative velocities. So basically what we have is we have a straight line that goes right through the x-axis. The slope of that line happens to be the acceleration. So that is a uniform constant acceleration. So this actually, a good example of, of that motion would be perhaps taking a pen and throwing it up like that. What happens? It slows down, reaches a speed of zero, and then speeds up in a negative direction. How about this? What's going on? We have our slope steep, less steep, less, slope of zero. So, but this is in the, uh, that's a negative slope, so that must mean we're in this region here. And we start off with a high speed, high speed, negative three slowing down. So we go like this. We reach a speed of zero. That would be the apex. And then what happens? We speed up. So we speed up. So that's kind of like the reverse. This is a mirror image of the dt graph. This is a mirror image of the vt graph. How about this? Here we have this u in the fourth quadrant. Well this graph right here is just that again. All we've done is the position of the movement is all positive, where here the position is all negative. Now velocity graphs don't deal with position. They just deal with changes in position. It doesn't matter if we're talking about negative or, or positive side of the reference point. So what are we doing here? We are starting off very steep, becoming less steep in a negative. So we are slowing down in a negative direction, we hit a speed of zero, right there, speed of zero, and then we are speeding up, just like that. 